Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I think you can probably see what this is. It's a case uh, and it's one that we use quite a lot for diamond painting and I have got quite a few of them, but this is a different variation, a different style one. Um, somebody on Rebecca Admore Zest's Facebook page, I th don't know whether that's still called 4Kids at 147, I'm not sure, um, did actually mention that uh, she'd been looking at cases and looked in seed storage, you know, like seeds for your garden like lettuce seeds and um, flower seeds and things and she'd seen a different case well me being me I like anything new and anything different so I thought oh I'll have to go and have a look at that and um, there is one available on Amazon which I may or may not order depending on what this one is like but uh, I was putting in a Timu order um, and I thought oh well I'll have a look on Timu and this is the Timu version so I have got quite a few other bits and pieces from Timu as well. But I thought we'd have a look at this one first and see what we get in it. The price of it was £13.47. So it's like a standard size. Let me just take it out of the packet first. It's like a standard size of a 60 bottle container. It's um, the black material and I've got the purple um, edging zip, which is what most of mine are. It's got your expandable handle on the side, which does seem to be working okay. So, yeah, that's all right. But inside, it's a different configuration. So let's have a look and see what's in this one. Okay. All right. Okay. So this one, um, the one on Amazon, you don't get any extras with it. I did think it felt a bit bulky. Um, so we've got an extra sort of tool kit with this one. Okay. And we've got some stickers, which are always handy. But it comes with the larger pots in the middle, which is brilliant. So we've got 42 smaller ones and 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 of the larger ones. Now, these hold over 4,000 gems. Um, so, yeah. Ooh, they the... These are the uh, lids that I'm not 100% keen on because they're the, like the hard plastic lid on a hard plastic bottle. And ooh, they make that squeaky sound. Somebody said to me, I think it was put cornflour or something like that on them to stop them. It does seem to be a bit up in the middle. I'm not quite sure why. We've got a bump in the middle there. Let me just take this out and see. There's something underneath. No, it's just the way that it is. How strange. These bottles are slightly higher up. Is that why it's bumping up a little bit? No, they're about... No, no, they are. They're about the same height as the smaller ones. These hold... Well, I've only ever managed to get about 1,600 gems in, but they this, this sell these as like 2,000. Um, and I would think that's probably three times the size of that. So, yeah, possibly between four and six thousand gems so yeah if you're doing a kit, a kit if you're doing a diamond painting that's got um lots of one color rather than having to keep them in a separate bag i just think that's a really good idea to have the bigger pots to put your gems in so yeah so how many have we got all together then what did i say so there's 57 bottles in this one which is only three less than the standard 60. So they must have really crammed them in. Is this slightly bigger? Let me just... Uh... No, it is the same. I'm just, I don't know. Yeah, it is the same size. Look, it's the same size as that one. Um, so that's your standard 60 bottle case there. And then that's... They must have just crammed them up a lot uh, closer together because they've managed to fit these big ones in the middle ah right they've put seven they've done them in rows of seven whereas these are only in rows of six so that's how they've managed to do it and then get these big ones in the middle excellent so yeah you still have your standard like netted pocket at the top there and um, see so you can take them out if you want to um, if you don't want to have them actually in the case, they do come out. But I, I like to keep everything corralled up as much as possible because, you know me, I'm good at spilling everything. <laughs> right, uh, let's give it a quick measure. I think, as I say, it's a standard size, but 
we will measure it anyway seeing as we've got the tape measure out so we're about sort of 13 ish cent uh, 13 ish inches which is about 33 centimeters by it's a long time since i've done a case bought a new case uh nine inches ish which is about 23 centimeters and your depth on it oops just to get my tape measure is about three inches which is about seven and a half ish centimeters so yeah quite a good size these pots uh, let me just do a quick measure on these are four centimeters which is one and a half inches and then the standard height which is two inches tall five centimeters and these these are your the ones that i prefer these have got the soft more pliable lids on them and um, so yeah the smaller tubs are good it's just the big ones have got the squeaky lids on <laughs> um so yeah these are one centi uh, one inch across which is two and a half centimeters so what did we say one and a half so yeah they're yeah, they're quite, um, they're about an extra half inch um, in circumference wide. Yeah, they're about an extra half inch in size. So, yeah, but I just thought that was something a little bit different. Let me know whether you've seen this and whether you've tried one. Um, I know certainly the craft buddy kit that I got at Christmas, the large Santa one that I got that was about 100 by 60, I think it was. It had a lot of one colour in it and I did have to use some bigger pots. So this would have been ideal for kitting that one up because I would still have had all of my bigger pots in the same place. Whereas at the moment it's kitted up and it's got two cases that I'm having to use. Uh, it didn't have that many different colours, but it did have a lot of big um, amounts of colour and I didn't want to have lots of packets lying around. So I did put them into uh, bigger pots. So yeah, but anyway, I've got an extra bonus with this one. So don't think because they're in seed storage on the Amazon um, website, I don't think they came with any diamond painting tools. I think it is just literally the case. And I think that one's about £16.99. Um, so I may or may not order it and see if I can do a comparison and see on the quality. Um, because I have had a case from Timo in the past and it wasn't quite as good as one that I'd ordered from Amazon. But uh, this one does look really, really good. I'm just still not quite sure why it's so up in the middle. It's getting on my nerves. <laughs> it's sort of going like that. <laughs> All right, we'll just put those little stickers there. So, yeah, always worth having some spare stickers. It's not a bad little toolkit, actually, because um, a lot of the time when you get toolkits with cases, they put loads of your diamond painting pens in, which are all the variations of your standard pens. And not everybody uses these pens. I must admit, it's a long time since I've used one of these pens, probably just on videos that I've been doing for YouTube, if I'm honest. Um, so, yeah, I don't really use them. I just donate them all. So to not have any is great because I probably wouldn't use them anyway. Uh, we've got our plastic tweezers, which I've never found any good for diamond painting, but are exceptionally good if you're doing um, sealing an item because you can use these to hold things down while you're diamond pit while you're doing your sealing. So yeah, I do like uh, those for that purpose. Now it's something that I have found a use for them. We've got one of the large white trays, which again, I do use these for kitting up and kitting down. So yeah, always handy to have just your standard tray there. We've got two of the little green trays, which I probably won't use, so they will just go into donation. But yeah, just a little extra. We've got your straightener, which is always, again, handy to have um, just for straightening out your drum. When you start off a painting, you can pop that on the edge say like that's your diamond painting here you can put that up against your edge so that you get all your starting gems in a straight line and hopefully the rest will follow so always handy to have as well it's like we've got uh, quite a few little grip seal bags there probably about 20 or 30 quite a few in there they're um not too bad actually they're not too thin so they will get used and then we've got a little funnel as well Okay, 
okay so yeah uh, like a rose pink funnel not a hot pink a rose pink so yep yeah, just for popping your gems back into your bottles so when you've finished with your gems in your tray you can just take your lid off your bottle pop that into your jar and just tip them all out into your bottle so yeah and it's one of those that just squishes down so it doesn't take up quite so much space uh, hmm. I'm quite impressed with this, I must admit, for £13.50 something, I think I said it was. I think it's uh, pretty good for the money. As I said, I didn't expect to get the bits. It probably did say that you get the diamond painting bits as well, but I don't read things, you know me. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's on uh, Timu. Um, again they do lots and lots of different cases i did get one of the large cases i'm just thinking now the one that i did get that i was disappointed with was one that held double the bottles i think it was 120 case but actually when it came the uh, little bottles were only half the size so that's why it was cheaper because it was the bigger case but it was only the half size bottles which unless you're doing one that's got lots of colours and not much of each colour isn't much good I tend to find that these are the best size to have but uh, yes yeah, certainly I'm looking forward to doing one now. let me just see if these are the same size so this is um from my Christmas kit as you can see look at all the colours that I've got on this the amount of each gem <laughs> So this is one that I got, I think this was from Amazon as well. I got a set of two of them quite a long time ago. There will be an unboxing somewhere. Why has that got, oh, it's static. I thought it had a lot um, extra gems in. Look how full some of these are. Oh, and they've got different colours in. So yeah, let's just see if these are the same size as these. That one doesn't want to come out. Oh no, look, they are smaller. So, oh right. So I would still have, have had to use uh, extra because they're about a centimetre shorter. They're the same, are they the same width? Yeah, they're about the same width, but they are about a centimetre shorter than these. So, oh, right, okay. Oh, well, at least now I know. Um, Yeah, these are these, and these are all fully, they sort of like squishy plastic, so they don't make the squeaky noise. <laughs> Right, okay. Oh, well, yeah, I would have got most of them in. It's just, what have I got? One, two. Oh, no, I don't know. The three, four that probably wouldn't have gone in. That one probably would have. But, uh, yeah, so I've got so many different ones of storage. I'm glad I tried that now because I was thinking in the back of my mind, shall I transfer all of the gems from my two cases into the one case? But now I don't need to because I now know that they won't fit in here. Oh, but I suppose I could use two of those anyway <laughs> so that is my new storage case thank you i can't remember the name of the lady that actually mentioned it on uh, rebecca's youtube channel um but yeah thank you to her for mentioning it because uh, yeah i would probably never have looked and i would never have seen it and as i said i don't like getting new things to try okay well i hope you've enjoyed looking at this i'll put a link to the amazon one down below if it is still available and then it is just a case of searching for it on timu because i've just not really worked out how to get the links off timu yet <laughs> okay well as i said i hope you've enjoyed looking at this with me if you have as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions in the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to join our little family and see what we get up to next and see the rest of this team of unboxing, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.